Hello, Jed Coburn is here. Just another day, recording, you know, thoughts of the day, the, what I learned from my mentors, what's going on up here, stuff like that. Um, today she had talked about, which is awesome, um, resources, right? What resources for information, inspiration, uh, mentoring, what do you get and how long do you spend with those, with those resources, those people, the books, whatever it be, um, you know, hence why I do a lot of what I do here. Um, 90 days actually is what you should give a teacher, uh, a mentor, um, somebody to help you. And then from there, kind of analyze what that, what you have learned, either keep going with that person or graduate and, you know, move to another teacher, but not move, you know, like, oh, they didn't do anything for me, you know, but that's what it is, is, um, but actually being with that person, talking to them, interacting to them, interacting with them, and that's really the only way I mean, you can read books, listen to audios, um, you know, watch videos, whatever it be. If you're not working in, you know, real life live with them, you're just kind of going through some motions and not actually changing. I mean, 90 days, right? And that's why I do the 12 week challenge. Um, and I work with you individually. And if there's interaction, you're probably learning there's no interaction, then you're probably just listening. Big difference between listening and learning, right? I mean, think of like, like the reason I say this is like, you had a first grade teacher before you had a third grade teacher, right? That's what I learned today. It's a big deal. Of course you had a first grade teacher before you had a third grade teacher because you weren't ready yet. If the, if the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Ever heard that one? Or if the student is willing, the teacher will appear. It's a big deal. So, you know, give your mentors, give your resources of information, or whatever, however you're getting it. Be it, let it be in person, live, not literally standing in front of you in person, but make sure you're interacting with your mentor. If you're not, probably just going through motions and not learning or gaining the expertise from the mentor and make sure you know dig dig into the person do they actually know what they're doing whether that's business whether that's health whether that doesn't matter what it is do they know what they're doing look at there's many ways to figure out if they actually are doing what they're doing I mean you wouldn't take you wouldn't want advice or you know orders or whatever be, you know, mentoring from, let's say, let's take teeth, for example. You wouldn't want advice and mentoring from a dentist with poor teeth, would you? One that smokes and doesn't floss, but they're going to tell you to quit smoking and, and floss every day? My guess is no, and if you take that advice and, and do it, I'd be really surprised. But that's what it is. You gotta find somebody who actually knows what they're doing, knows what they're talking about, figure out if they actually do, right? So, you know, look at some profiles, look at their, you know, search them, Google them, whatever, see if they really know. And listen to them, see what it feels like for a while. Don't take it to be 100% truth, though, until you run it in your own head. Run it through your own processor in your brain and see what that feels like. Because you know best for you. And you have to know that. I know best for me. And as a parent, we know best for our children until they know best for themselves. When that is, who knows? But, um, you know, they gotta figure that out. But you know best for you. That's it. Uh, another great.
great analogy would be, you know that teacher, the math teacher, I was just re reminded of this yesterday, that math teacher who um, just knows math and just gets a little frustrated with people that doesn't, that, you know, they just don't get it. Be careful of leaders like that. They get frustrated right away at you and just not getting it. Because they've gotten it for so long that they get a little, they get a little angry or irritated right away when you just don't get it. It's like, well, well how come you don't get it? Yeah, I was definitely reminded of this in the recent past. Because yeah, you know what? You're probably not gonna get it right away and that is okay. That's the beautiful part of the human being is we're not perfect. So check your resources today. Check them out, really give them a thorough gone going through. Otherwise, have yourself a great day. Believe in you, because you gotta know I do. Bye for now.